Hello everyone, it's Lola here again. Thank you once again for joining me. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make my fresh hot pounded yam from scratch without any pounding, which means you don't have to break out into any sweat before you put this together. So let's get started. So for this recipe, all we need is our yam and some water. I'm using the puna yam, which is also known as the African yam. And the first thing to do is to peel this yam. Once everything is well peeled, the next thing is just to cut them into small chunks, just like this. So now I will be rinsing this yams thoroughly. Once it's well rinsed, I'll just drain the water and I'll be transferring the yams into my pot. I'll be covering this with some water just about the level of the yam. So now I'll just cover this up and I'm going to be leaving this to boil until the yams become tender. So now my yam is done, I'll just be taking it off the heat and it's time to pound the yam. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's time to use our ant processor to process this yam and turn it into a super hot, fresh pounded yam. So I'm going to be adding my yams a little bit at a time and I'll be whisking it until I'm done adding the last yam. Now, if you remember growing up, what we used to use is the mortar and the pestle. This takes a lot of time, energy and sweat. And I remember we used to add the yams a little bit at a time until everything is well pounded without any lumps inside. And that is basically the same technique I'm using for this. A little bit of yam at a time, whisk it together until I'm done adding everything. So as you can see, my pounded yam is coming together pretty well. And now, I don't know if you can see this, it's becoming so doughy and kind of hard. So at this point, I'm going to be adding a little bit of hot boiling water to soften the texture of the pounded yam. So I'll just continue whisking this with my hand mixer until I get my desired consistency. At this point, as you can see, after adding the hot boiling water about two times and mixing it together, my pounded yam texture is now okay. But before I pack this and dish it into my plate, I'm going to be using a wooden spoon to just mix this together once again to achieve that doughy and stretchy texture. So here we go, our freshly made pounded yam is all ready without pounding and it looks so good. So now I'm just going to be serving this with my egusi soup. By the way, if you want to know how I make my egusi soup, I'll leave the link to that in the description box below. You can just check it out. I'm pretty sure you are going to like it. So I have to leave you at this point so I can enjoy this pounded yam while it's still very hot with my family. But before I leave, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please join the family by subscribing and don't forget to click on that bell button so you can get notified of every of my posts. So that is it again for today. Thank you so very much for spending your time with me. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy. <music>